This is section 8, where we'll explore how we can use React to build emails. In the last section, we looked at server-side React. In this first video of section 8, we'll focus on building a digest email with React. Like we saw in the last section, React can be used server-side to produce HTML. We can actually use this feature to produce HTML for emails as well. Emails are notoriously known for being terrible to work with. With React, they become slightly better, even though we'd still have to use tables like old school web pages in order to support most email clients. But at least with React, we can hide some of the ugly aspects with components. Let's build a digest email for our e commerce application. Some email clients remove the head portion of any style tags of the HTML document. So we'll install Juice to convert our CSS into inline tags on the HTML. I have a Mandrel account we'll use to send the email, so we'll install their module, but you can use any kind of email service. After that is installed, let's create a digest email directory and get started. First, we create our component. It needs to include the full HTML. And for now, we'll just output a simple title. Next, we'll work on the rendition and sending portion. In this send.js file, we'll import React and our new component. We can then use render to static markup and pass in our component. This will render the component and its children as a simple HTML string. It differs from the render to string function that we used in the last section in that it doesn't include the React IDs required to revive React on a client. Since we can't run JavaScript in an email client, we don't need those. Let's output the HTML and run the script. The result shows the HTML output. Let's add some styles to that. We'll add a CSS file with a simple body style. Back in our send file, we'll import juice to help us inline the CSS into the HTML. Read the CSS file from disk and call inline content on juice with the HTML and the CSS. When we run the script again, we see the HTML with inline styles. All that's left is sending the HTML to my email address. I'll use Mandel's API to do so, but as mentioned previously, you can use any email service for this. We'll construct the message and send it away. And over in my Gmail inbox, I can see the email delivered with the red H1 style. In this video, we've used React to build an email. In the next video, we'll add an image chart to our email.